After getting skunked at French Meadows Reservoir during the full moon, I was anxious to get back up to the reservoir and see if I could find better action. Lucy and I arrived around dawn on June 29th and I quickly got the kayak off the trailer and into the water. The action was better than it was during the full moon, but it was still challenging. Yet, as you know, any day trout fishing is better than a day at the office. Fish eye dodger and worm, the old reliable up here in the high Sierras. This flat out works. They're feeding on mayflies today, but uh, I was able to trick that one into gobbling that worm a little bit and uh, kept stayed with it until he got hooked. It's awesome. Right into the wind here, so. Whoa. My other line's pretty shallow. I got out one color of lead core and one of my tiny micro triggers so not too worried about hitting the bottom we're in 60 feet of water here so just don't want to spin around and tangle everything up hopefully we will uh put this fish in the kayak because it's been a little dry spell for for lucy and i Oh boy, that's a that's a nice square tail fish for, for French Meadows Reservoir, that's for sure. Bring him right over here, I'll lift him aboard. <laughs> Look at that guy. What a beauty. What a beautiful trout. There you have it. Dinner is served French Meadow style. That's a handsome little rainbow. Uh, pink meat, that's a holdover. Look at that square tail. What a dandy little fish. Put up a great fight and uh, he's going to make a great meal. Hey guys, Kel Kellogg here. If you're going to go trolling in the Sierras during the summertime, it is absolutely essential that you bring some night crawlers along. You're not going to need to use them every single day, but if you hit the water and the trout are keying on natural insects, you're going to need those night crawlers. Um, today's a great example. I'm up at French Meadows. Um, I've been frustrated all morning. The trout have been feeding, they were feeding on um, mayfly nymphs. Um, I got five bites this morning, three bites on Trigger Spoon Juniors, two bites on Trolling Flies. They were very tentative taps. I didn't hook any of those fish. Um, and then conditions went glassy and it got even tougher. I could see trout all over the lake picking mature mayflies off the surface. So I knew I wasn't gonna do any good then, it was hot. Um, so Lucy and I went to shore, Lucy got her swim on. Um, I ate some lunch, Lucy had a snack. And as soon as I saw the first puff of afternoon breeze, I got the kayak back on the water. I rigged up with a four inch fisheye pro dodger in the watermelon color. About 30 inches behind it, I put a half a night crawler on a slow death hook. Um, I started working my way along a steep bank. Um, my bait was running about 18 feet deep. And uh, I don't think it took five minutes before a fish came, started picking at that worm, stayed with it for about 50 yards, and finally ended up, you know, getting hooked. And uh, I'm having a rainbow trout for dinner. And I'm confident I'm going to catch a few more fish before this wind gets so strong that I have to get off the lake. I'm kind of heading back to the launch ramp now. So I'm within safe striking distance of my vehicle because it is going to blow. But I probably got an hour or so that I can, you know, safely fish out here. So like I say, I'm confident I'm going to, I'm going to put some more fish in the kayak. The thing with a night crawler is that the trout, when they were feeding on those mayflies on the surface, you know, they were hot. They were ready to go. Well, when I got this, when I got this chop, they can't really effectively feed on those mayflies anymore. They're hard to see for the trout when, when it's choppy like this, but they're still hot. They're still fired up. They still want to feed. So, so with a night crawler, even though it, it doesn't imitate what the trout are feeding on, all you need to get them to do is to take a nip of that crawler. All they have to do is get a taste of it. 
most of the time if you can get them to get that initial taste and you just keep on trolling maybe slow down you know get back on 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 the power back on the pedals if you're in a kayak slow down again they'll typically stay with it they'll keep nipping at it they'll get more confident they'll get more into the idea that that night crawler is something they want to eat and uh, more often than not you're going to be able to hook those fish you can't hook those fish on spoons or flies or rapalas none of that stuff is going to work when they're keying on you know natural insects but the night crawlers that's your equalizer team them with a flasher or a dodger to pull the fish in the vicinity of the worm let them get a taste of it and you're going to be yelling fish on that's my high sierra tip for today if you're looking for gear including my fish eye dodgers go on over to fishhuntshoot.com i want to thank you guys for all the support and i'll see you next time right here on youtube